Hey, what's going on everybody? Before I show you what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to show you the tools I'm getting ready to use. So if you look on the table, could you guess if just looking at these tools, could you look at this and guess what am I getting ready to make? Okay, dead giveaway. You see the material on the table. So you know, and some of you know this is this is a uh, uh, vinyl. It's like that um, leather vinyl, that upholstery material. So what I'm getting ready to do using these tools is reupholstery my chairs that look like that. All right. I just did this one and I'm pretty happy about it. And at first I was just going to do all four of them and just be done with it. But I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and show you guys what I did. It's, it's, it was so easy and I couldn't believe how easy it was. But at the same time, I feel kind of stupid because for so long when my chairs would go bad, I would just uh, buy new chairs. And, and you, you all know these are not the cheapest chairs. <laughs> so, but you do want something that look nice. And as you know, over time, this it's like it dries out. When I feel this, it's like really, it's hard. And it's, it's dried out, so it just cracks all up, and it looks horrible. But this I just put on here, and it's, it's just soft to the touch. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you what I did. And, hey, save yourself some money and do this too, because if you got those kind of chairs with the uh, vinyl seats, I'm pretty sure you've experienced something like this. And as you know, you know some chairs it get worse than others. But no matter what, it's still going to crack up. That's just what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to give you the quick, simple way to reupholstery your chair. As you know, the vinyl is basically cracked on it. I'm going to take the chair. Put this baby upside down like this, and you're gonna have four screws on it. Well, five, because I want it clear. You're gonna need your Phillips screwdriver, and you're basically gonna take that out. And that's really, that right there is what we need. So let me set this down. Actually, let me, let me get my screws out of this. The next thing I'm going to do is measure this. Now, as you can see, the front of it is wider than the back of it. I'm not going to measure the front part one length, the back another length. No, I'm gonna cut one square piece. So whatever the length of the front is, that's gonna be the same length as the back. So the, the thing is, when you measure, you wanna put the material over the seat because you have to staple it down, okay? So I measured this out to be 24 inches. So it's gonna be 24 by 24. See how I went over with the measuring tape? That's how I get, came up with my measurements. So what was my measurements? I said I'm gonna cut a 24 by 24, so all I'm gonna do is, for one, let me make sure you guys can see this. So I lined the material up right at the edge of this table, just how I did the first piece I cut. And from the edge, so from the edge of the table up here, like I said, I'm gonna do 24 by 24. So I'm gonna make sure this is flat. On, on the table and I'm gonna look for my 24 and I'm gonna just put a little mark there on both sides of it so I know that's what I'm looking for then on this side I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna come to the edge of my material and I'm gonna do my 24 like I said I'm gonna do 24 by 24 I already marked it right here well also let's just go down here and I'm gonna also mark 24 inches down on this end, right? 
I'm gonna show you guys something. Show you something I like to do. I'm gonna do the same thing right here. I'm gonna come right here, mark a different spot. I mark right here and I also mark down here, right? So therefore I can get something like a leveler and then mark the idea down here. Well, I can make sure I put my leveler up against that mark, hold it in place, and then find my mark up here and put my leveler up against that mark. Now I know that's gonna make create a straight line. So when I do this, which is really hard to mark on this, the back of this material. Let me see, let me tilt that back. Oh yeah, my line is on there. So, and I'm gonna do the same over here. I got a mark right here and I got a mark down here. So, so that's it, and I'm gonna hold it in place and now I can mark it. And the reason I'm going back and forth like that because it's really hard marking on this material. So, and that's it. That's how, that's how I get my marks. So what I'm gonna do with my mark in place, with my lines in place, I'm gonna take some scissors and I am going to just cut. And just take your time with it, just like so. So on this part, removing the material from the seat, all I'm using is two of my tools. I used a sharp tool just to go around the whole bottom of the seat to lift those staples up. I didn't want to waste a lot of time lifting the staple and then pulling it out. No, you don't want to do that. Just go around and just lift all of the staples up. Now, some of them may just pop out. That's okay. But just lift every staple up and then once you do that we can go to the next part so down there we have all the staples lifted up i'm just going to go around with my little needle nose snippers and just start pulling those staples out of the seat that's that's all i'm going to do now, some of them, it's kind of tricky. You have to stick the needle nose under there and give it a little twist. And then sometimes it just pops right out. Sometimes you give it a twist and pull it out. It's, it's just that simple. This, this, this whole project is a fun project. And you just know you're saving money. And it's a very simple uh, project. And some people are going to enjoy doing it just knowing that you're doing it on your own. So now that you've taken all of the staples out, you're gonna remove that old, crusty, dried up material. Let's just get rid of that all together and just clean your surface of the table and let's lay out the new material. The first thing I want to do once I lay out my material is make sure, since it's a small piece of material, make sure it's lined up on the edge of the table from edge to edge. Then I'm going to take the seat. I already checked the, the cotton or the cushion and it was still fairly in good condition, surprisingly. And I'm going to fold the material over that to make sure there's a lip there so when I staple, it goes into the wood, as you can see what I'm doing right now.
Now, what I want to do is press down on it and, and pull it tight because you don't want the material just loose around it. You know, you sit on your seat and the material just falling over. That look crazy. So you, I'm, I'm giving it a, a fair amount of uh, pull just so it can be tight. And then I'm, I'm hitting it up with my staple gun. That's all I'm going to do around this whole, this whole seat. That's what you're going to do. So now that you got most of your stapling done, which you still may have to do some at the end, let's just put that out and there. And I don't mean when you get done with the job, you're gonna have to do some stapling at the end. I mean the dust cover at the end. But you're gonna realize there's extra material underneath the seat. So all you're gonna do is get some scissors and just cut that material just to keep the job looking clean and neat. That's it, because you wanna do a professional job. Of course you're doing it for yourself, of course you're saving money, but you still want it to look professional and you want it to look clean. So once you get done with stapling around the material and cutting off the excess material. The last thing you wanna before do, before you screw your chair back to the base, you wanna grab the dust cover that you took off and staple it underneath the chair. Now, it's complete. <laughs> so, we got that on there. We put the chair up here. I wanna make sure it is sitting flush. This seat is flush on the back of this chair. That's what I want. Because that's how it was. You can get your screws. There's five of them. Put them in a hole and tighten it down. All right, everybody. Well, I hope this helped you out to reupholstery your chairs if they are damaged like mine was. And hey, if they help you out, go ahead and like and subscribe and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.